about to roast a batch of our organic Ethiopian Masha coffee. Uh, it's one of our highest rated coffees. It's a very clean, very delicious coffee that we're going to start. First thing we do is we put our beans up here on the roaster and we let the roaster warm up to about 380 degrees. At that point, they're going to drop down into this bin and they'll be rotating and spinning for a few hundred degrees in a few minutes. And as they start to change and roast, I will explain more as we go. This is what the coffees look like first when we first put them in the roaster and as you can see they're starting to brown up and roast just a little bit. They're not quite ready yet, but we're getting there. But you'll hear a slight popping sound coming from the coffee now. That's what's called first crack. And what that is, is that those beans have so much water in them that the water, when the water starts to heat up and boil inside, it turns to steam. And now it's actually forcing that, the physical integrity of that bean apart just a little bit, and it makes that sound like hot So that's the first step when we know we're getting close to being done with roasting. At the cafe here, we've tried to find ways to still have you folks enjoy some of our product, but to keep ourselves and your folks safe as well. We've switched to more wholesale and retail offerings, both online and in person, and even in deliveries, so that people who aren't comfortable coming into the cafe can still enjoy some of our products in the comforts of their own home. Now more than ever, we've realized that we are a community of neighbors, that we need to look out for one another. As we've looked to the future, We've made the decision here at the cafe to switch to all organic and responsibly grown coffees. We want to have that switch completed by early 2021. Organic coffees are much better for the environment. They're grown in safer ways. They don't use pesticides. Uh, the land is cared for much more so that we can ensure future crops. Uh, people are enjoying coffee now more than ever and we want future generations of coffee lovers to be able to enjoy all these things as well. Along with organics, we want to look into more fair trade options. Fair trade coffees are important because they ensure that farmers receive fair pay for their coffees and that the workers in the fields receive fair pay for their efforts as well. It ensures a mutually beneficial business relationship and it focuses on transparency and on responsible growth of the business. Right now here at the cafe, we're really trying to focus on ways that we can help people within our own community and around the world. And we think this shift in coffee offerings is going to do a lot of that. We're going to have more blends and more custom offerings for people, both wholesale and retail. So people can get a taste of all different types of coffees from around the world because there are some amazing things out there that we just haven't offered yet.